Now this TLC plate is ready to be developed. This plate will go in the developing jar which will have the developer. The developing solvent that we are using for the colored unknown is hexane acetone in 3 to 2 ratio. How much of this developing solvent should we take? You notice that there is a convex surface here at the bottom of the jar. You want to take just enough solvent to cover that convex surface. Maybe a few drops extra but not much more than that. If we take more than that then the spots will be immersed in the solvent itself. So let us add that solvent. Please use the dropper, do not pour the reagent directly from the bottle. Now you can notice that I have enough solvent to cover that convex surface. So this is about the right amount of developing solvent you want to take. Let us cover our reagent bottle. So now we can insert our TLC plate into the developing jar. Before that what I would like to do is take a piece of filter paper, cut it in half in this fashion and insert the filter paper into the jar. What this does is act as a wick and saturate the entire chamber with the solvent vapors. Okay, so that is the reason for using the filter paper. I want to make sure that the filter paper is sitting in nicely. And let the solvent raise along the filter paper and then we will place our TLC plate. It will just take a couple of minutes. And when you place your TLC plate inside the developing chamber after the solvent has risen completely along the filter paper, you want to make sure that the TLC plate is not touching the filter paper at all. So let us just move the filter paper to the other side so at least one side of the jar is clearly visible to us. Now that we have put the filter paper on the other side, I am ready to insert my TLC plate in this developing jar. By handling the TLC plate only along the edges and using the tweezers to hold the TLC plate along the top edge, place the TLC plate inside the jar carefully and keep the jar covered. You notice the solvent is moving along the plate. How do you know where the solvent level is? You have the dry white silica gel coating. You have the wet coating on the bottom here. And the place up to where the solvent has moved is really called the solvent front. We want to wait till this solvent front has reached up to about a centimeter away from the top edge of the plate before we take the plate out of this developing jar. So we will wait for the solvent to move up to about a centimeter away from the top edge.
So, you notice that the solvent has moved up to about a centimeter away from the top edge of the plate. We are ready to take the plate out. Now, as soon as you take the plate out, please make a mark of the solvent front. Because once the solvent dries, you will not be able to make out up to where the solvent had moved. So, this is what a developed plate looks like. Remember, this was one application, two applications, three times applied, four times and five times. If you notice where we applied the sample five times and four times, the spots are very big. We do not want to get this big spots here on the developed plate. So, the ideal application would be either two times application or three times application. So, you can decide which one you want to select. Personally, I am going to select the spot where I have applied the sample twice. So, this is the first plate that you would do to determine how many times you want to apply a sample to get a decent sized developed spot.